World Championship Wrestling is on the air. Coming to you from San Francisco, California. Josh with you. Stable Wars winding down tonight. The contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 535 pounds. Black Bart and Bill Irvin. We are going to crown the Lance Russell Conference champion tonight, one way or the other. It's very simple for Paul Jones's army, win and they're in. Baron Varoshki must defeat Chief Wahoo McDaniel here tonight. And Paul Jones's army wins the Lance Russell Conference and will face their teammates Medusa's Militia in the finals tomorrow morning. Doom taking on the Long Riders. Great tag team action coming your way to kick off the program. Thundercade hanging in there. They have to win tonight. It's a must win situation for them. They can win or draw. And then they would need help from the Patriots. Chief Wahoo McDaniel must defeat Baron Von Roschke. And Thundercade would win the Lance, Rus Lance Russell Conference with either a win or a draw. Black Bart stomps the midsection. 15 minute time limit in our Stable Wars matches. Black Bart picks him up. Spins him around. Nice maneuver there by Bart. Good arm drag. And Ron Simmons tags in Butch Reed. Teddy Long in the corner of Doom. Lex Luger, of course, is facing Tommy Rich. Luger is favored in that match, and he must win or draw. Either way, they will need help from Chief Wahoo McDaniel. Camel clutch here by Butch Reed. Thundercade has a chance to go 5-0 in Stable Wars. Good Russian leg sweep. Tag made to Wild Bill. The best that Paul Jones' army can do is 4-1. Thundercade won the head-to-head -head rivalry between Paul Jones' army and Thundercade. That was won by Thundercade. Cover here. Simmons has a foot on the rope. Referee did not see it. Only got a one count anyway. Spins him around. And a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. So much great action coming your way here in World Championship Wrestling. Thank you so much for tuning in. Into the corner. Doom hoping to finish strong for Destruction Incorporated. Reed drops the knee to the lower back. Hope your Friday is going well. Kick off to the weekend. Big right hand by Wild Bill. Ron Simmons had the referee distracted. Good backbreaker on the floor by Wild Bill Irwin. Good duck there by Reed. Throws Wild Bill into the railing. He hit shoulder first. And a suplex on the floor. Throws Wild Bill into the steel railing. Reed hammering away. The back of Bill's head just cracked against the steel steps. He might be out. Black Bart grabs Reed and suplexes him onto the floor. Here comes Ron Simmons over. 
We've got Bedlam here. Referee Bill Scott needs to restore some order. He will restart the count since Butch Reed exited the ring after coming back in. That restarted the count. This one just breaking down into a Pier 6 brawl. Big clothesline there by Reed. Throws him into the railing once again. Irwin's head bounces off the steps again. Black Bart messing up with Butch Reed. Here comes Ron Simmons. And Irwin's been counted out. Count out victory for Doom. 15 points going to Destruction Incorporated. And they will finish with a victory. Stable Wars ends for Destruction Incorporated and for the Long Riders. But it will continue for either Thundercade or Paul Jones' Army. The finals happening tomorrow for the championship. Doom surely happy to be victorious, but they are looking ahead to bigger and better things. They are challenging for the World Tag Team title a week from tomorrow at Spring Stampede. Hoping to regain the titles. The action continues now. Singles action. Lex Luger must win this match or draw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Tommy. If Tommy Rich wins this match, Paul Jones' army will be crowned the Lance Russell Conference champions and they will face Medusa's Militia in the finals tomorrow morning, a best of three series. Rich hoping to play the role of spoiler. He has been hot this year, winning several matches. He would love to pull off an upset victory over the US champion. That would earn him a future title shot. Lex Luger, of course, will face Barry Windham a week from tomorrow at Spring Stampede with the U.S. title on the line. This is a non-title match. Here comes the U.S. champion. And his opponent, accompanied by Bobby the Brain Heenan from Chicago, Illinois. 275 pounds, the WCW United States Champion, the total package, Lex Luger Champion. Luger is coming off that stunning loss to Stan Hansen. Hansen was up in the torture rack for three minutes, refusing to submit. Once he got out of it, he hit Luger with the lariat. Covered him for the 1-2-3, and what an impressive win by Hansen. Hansen will be watching that U.S. title match very closely next week, awaiting to challenge the winner. 15-minute time limit in this one, 20 points for a pinfall submission win, 15 points for a countout win, which we've seen already here tonight, 10 points for a DQ win, and 5 points for a draw. So Luger needs to win or draw and still need... Chief Wahoo McDaniel to defeat Baron Von Roski in the main event. If that happens, Thundercade wins the Lance Russell Conference. Either scenario, Luger can either draw or win as long as McDaniel wins in the main event. If Rich wins, it's all over and Paul Jones' army are the Lance Russell Conference champions and the last match won't matter. Rich has him. Went for the suplex. Good knee right to the head by Luger, but Luger landed very badly there in the top rope. Shook it off. Good elbow drop. Luger taking time to pose for the crowd.
very mixed reaction to the total package Lex Luger. It seems like he's either loved or hated. Went for the clothesline and he nailed him. Drops the weight to the lower back. Luger turns him over. Double axe handle to the back. Both of these men will be in the Crockett Cup Tournament coming up very soon. Luger going for the superplex. Nicely done. Luger again drives the weight down on Tommy Rich. Nice move. Luger working the back. He wants to put Rich up in that human torture rack. He wants to prove to himself and to the fans that move is still devastating. Even though Stan Hansen was able to escape it. You have to think about how much that took out of Luger as well. Holding up the big man Stan Hansen. Hansen over 300 pounds. Luger had him up in the rack for three minutes. No surprise that the Lariat put him away once Hansen hit him with it. Military press. And again, Luger posing. Whips him into the ropes. Good spinning back elbow. Nice side suplex by the total package. Front face lock by Luger. Abdominal stretch. Referee Bill Scott checking in. Seeing if Tommy Rich wants to give this one up. Good hip toss by Rich to escape. But the damage has been done. Luger rolls out to the floor. Lex has worked over Rich's back. Now throws him into the steel barricade, and once again, back first this time. Now drops him face first, and Luger giving a up and close personal view of the gun show. Nice block there by Wildfire Tommy Rich. And a good running forearm shot takes down the champion. Knee right to the throat. That one took its toll. Rich jockeying for position. Now stomps the lower leg of Luger. Rich trying to turn this thing around. Luger's waiting for him with a clothesline. Luger's a smart one. He finished with a GPA in college of nearly 4.0. I believe it was 3.85. Not so smart here. Turns his back to Rich and a drop kick to the back. That took down the total package. Luger posing one too many times. Side headlock takeover. Luger has to win this one or draw. Nine minutes left in the time limit. And now it's Tommy Rich's turn to call it to the crowd. Both men trying to get an edge here. Luger went for the clothesline once again. Tommy Rich was ready for him. And there's a clothesline by Wildfire taking Luger up and over the top rope. Rich now off the top rope, waiting for Luger to get to his feet. There he goes. Nice move. Takes down Luger. A lot of action has spilled out to the floor so far here tonight. 
Luger just ramming Rich repeatedly into the railing. That time he hit face first, belly to belly on the floor. Luger looking for the count out victory. It worked for Doom in the opening contest. Rich trying to get to his feet. Luger posing once again, flexing for the crowd. Here comes Rich again from behind. This time Luger's ready for him. Good backbreaker. Again, Luger targeting the back of Wildfire Tommy Rich. And for good reason, here it is, the Human Torture Rack. If Rich gets out of this, I think Luger's going to have a complex. and may not trust that finisher, but there it is, the submission very quickly. And that's what Luger needed to do. He had to win here tonight. He got the job done. Submission win over Wildfire Tommy Rich. And that forces Paul Jones' army to win. Baron Von Roski must defeat Chief Wahoo McDaniel. Or Thundercade will win the Lance Russell Conference. Rich gave up very quickly. Did not last nearly as long as Stan Hansen. Here is your winner, the total package, Lex Luger! And Thundercade finishes out Stable Wars 5-0 undefeated. They defeated every other stable, yet they have a chance not to win the, the conference if Paula Jones' army wins. Paul McDaniel about to make his way to the ring here, representing the last place Patriots. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Texas, weighing in at 280 pounds, Mac Daniel. He was the inaugural U.S. champion. For about a year or so, the only titles I had here in WCW were the TV title, the world title, and the world tag titles. The other championships have been added over time. Roster was smaller then. I think I was using like 30 guys. Now I'm using almost 50, I think. And his opponent, accompanied by the Russian gladiator, Urban Kola. And from Germany, weighing in at 281 pounds, Baron. It is a must-win situation for Baron Von Roschke. A draw will not do it. Since both teams faced off and Thundercade won that head-to-head -head competition, Thundercade would win even though they have, they have identical records. We will look at the stable record. The Gordon Soli Conference wrapped up rather quickly. This one has gone down to the wire now, to the very last match. Medusa's Militia awaiting the winner. Referee calls for the bell. Good high knee lift by Baron Von Roski and goes to the eyes. Spins him around. Just whipping Wahoo McDaniel face first into that top turnbuckle. And now a knee right to the throat. Baron Von Roski looking to make a statement here. Good side slam by the Baron. Wahoo hoping to play the role of spoiler. Went for the roundhouse kick. Nobody home. Baron from behind. Nice move. Baron just walking all over Chief Wahoo McDaniel. He'll do it again from the other side.
If Barron wins tonight, Paul Jones' army will make him the guest of honor wherever they're going after the matches. He'll be the hero of the day for sure. That's going to mean a lot for Paul Jones' army if it's basically them taking on themselves in the finals. As you know, Medusa's militia is just a, a faction or a branch of Paul Jones' army. So they can't lose. But they have to win this match right here. Paul Jones better watch out. He could get his man disqualified here. Referee chooses not to disqualify Paul Jones as Jones just threw Wahoo back into the ring. A DQ loss would mean Thundercade wins the Lance Russell Conference. And again, Baron just walking, stepping all over Wahoo. Big slam by the Clawmaster. Stomped him rather low there and just walked on him. Right on the lower abdomen, I believe. We hope so for Wahoo's sake. Baron wearing down Chief Wahoo McDaniel. And there's the claw. This one could be over right here. Paul Jones' army could be crowned the champions. Wahoo's fighting. Wahoo refusing. He's trying to fight free here. Wahoo hanging on. Baron lost his grip there. Cover. Baron did not have a good grip any longer if Wahoo was struggling to get free. So Wahoo needs to rally here. Well, Baron's going to put it on again. This time he's got it locked in. This one's over. Paul Jones' army has won the Lance Russell Conference. They are the champions. And they will face Medusa's Militia in the finals tomorrow morning. Disappointing finish for Thundercade. But a time of rejoicing for Paul Jones' army. They can't lose either way. They are getting 10 title shots. How will those be distributed? That depends on who wins tomorrow. It'll be a best of three series. So in the opening match, we're going to see Baron Von Rashi take on Sid Vicious. In the second match, the Powers of Pain face Rick Rude and Manny Fernandez. And depending on how things go, if necessary, Ivan Koloff will face Nikita Koloff. So it's a best of three. If somebody wins the first two matches, it's over, obviously. You won't want to miss it tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. The finals will take place tomorrow morning. Let's look at the standings now. The final standings in the Lance Russell Conference. The champions, Paul Jones's army, 11 and four. They finished four and one. In second place, right behind them, Thundercade, but eliminated. 10, four and one, five and zero oh in Stable Wars. The High Flyers in third place, seven and eight. Very interesting that they finished third because they had they were tied for the worst record in Stable Wars. They only won one Stable Wars match. But just the fact that they won at least one match in each in each head-to-head -head competition, that gave them six wins there. And then they won one Stable Wars match. That gave them two wins. So they finish in third. Destruction Incorporated in fourth place, six, seven, and two. In fifth place, the Long Riders, five, nine, and one. And finishing last, the Patriots, four, and 11. Thank you so much for watching Stable Wars. It'll conclude tomorrow. And don't forget to tune in 6 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow night for more great wrestling action. Have a great evening.